So in terms of this today's meditation, what I'd like to do is really teach us how to, the building blocks, the pattern to build on so that we can move out fear. We're gonna use a little bit of color and symbolism, which helps us to kind of mobilize our immune system to move out the intangible stress that our body takes on throughout our worry, doubt, and fear. Because fear, what is fear? Anxiety, depression, sadness, all of these things are fear. Anything that is moving us away from love is based in fear. You can, you can put any other label on it that you want. Negativity, fear. <laughs> it's just hatred, fear. All of it goes back to fear. So at the, at the end of the day, what I'd like to take us through is a meditation focusing on moving out fear and moving in our purpose and especially love, you know, mm -hmm. love, because love is the only thing that has the ability to transform. But the reason why we have fear is also based on what Anita said, which was society is pumping into us inadequacy, scarcity, victimhood. But if we were to push that aside and really work on what is in us purely, that that would not be. So let's kind of learn to how to move that out and move in, like she said, more of ourselves so that we can expand wellness. Okay. Yeah. So are you great. ready to begin? Yes. And uh, one of the things, just uh, very quickly, I know this uh, thing, one of the things that I've noticed before, and, and, and I know you do this, is that when you're doing meditations, you do use a lot of hand kind of movements and, and pulling of energy because, you know, we are, have this energetic body. Therefore, if fear is an energy that sits within you, the, you, the, the visualization process is important, but also the, you know. Correct. John, you... thank you for, for bringing that up, because even though this is intangible energy, it is definitely visceral in the sense, as I said in the beginning, pain is sitting in the body. And in my studies, I've learned when you have childhood trauma, that sits in the thighs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of women who are experiencing that thighs, when there's creative blocks, you're having problems with your arms, having problems manifesting those legs, you're usually going to have an issue with your hamstrings, your quads, you know, your gastro. So these are the things that we can use our hands, which are chakras, to pull this energy out. And the universal symbol for transforming negative energy into positive energy are roses. So through this meditation, I'll teach us how to use roses, our hand chakras, and gold light to move out the fear and to move in the love and the purpose. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Well, without further ado, then I am going to uh, switch myself. We're going to switch, switch to our view, right? I'm going to leave you to it. And look forward to uh, chilling along with everybody else. Thank you. Okay. As always, I'd like for you to please put your feet flat on the floor, your palms face up. You can either be sitting in a comfortable position in a chair or laying down during this meditation. But for those of you laying down, please keep your feet flat on the floor for the beginning part of the meditation. And now we're going to bring our awareness to our breath. And I'd like you to just breathe with the rhythm of your body. Take a moment to just catch how your body breathes and bring it into a rhythm that will allow your body to relax. Make your breath a little bit deeper than normal in order to begin to regulate it. And once you catch that rhythm, I want you to bring your awareness into your chest or your heart chakra, your anahata. And I want you to command, because it is your body, for your heartbeat to sync up with your breath. So you just say, heart, I would like, I command you, I would like for you to sync up with my breath. And now connect with your aura layer, which is a foot and a half around you. Bring that in, make sure you're sitting inside of it, completely in the center. 
Remember, we're working with this soul architecture. We're going to call our higher self back above us at a comfortable distance above our head. And from the heart chakra, we are going to ground our energy into Mother Earth. As we breathe with the rhythm of our body, we create, visualize, and imagine a beautiful portal or grounding cord, six inches in diameter, connected to the heart as it moves down the center of our body, much like our spine. And this is all energy. So as it moves down through the body and through the chair or the bed or whatever you're sitting in, through the floor, keep the visual clear, through the concrete, through the dirt, as it moves through the crust of Mother Earth, it keeps its shape and it is of a natural earth element. It could be a tunnel of water, a beam of light, a rope, a tree trunk. It could be a quartz crystal. It could be a cave, but make whatever it is from Mother Earth as it's moving through the lithosphere. That Marianas Trench, it's moving down, 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 down to the athenosphere, and now it roots itself into Mother Earth, growing these beautiful roots that can take in her nurturing energy, listening and adhering to the vibrations and the positive energy from Mother Earth. Give her gratitude, tell her thank you, and as always, ask her if there's anything you can do for her. And go out and plant a tree, plant a garden, and volunteer your energy to make her a beautiful place. Clean her up. Now bring your awareness back into your heart chakra. As you call in golden rose-shaped cleaning utensils to clean off your grounding cord, blanketing the inside and the outside of your grounding cord with these beautiful golden rose-shaped scrubbing bubbles, which are taking out or off, cleaning off any disease, any illness, any fear, any doubt, any worry, anybody else's energy. Anything you are ready to let go of and release, allow for this energy of these golden rose shapes, rubbing bubbles to clean it off. Get that visualization clear. If you cannot see, you can feel or you can hear. We have one of these three visceral kinesiology <laughs> reactions. So go ahead and focus in, remove the doubt, remove the fear, and sit in the fact of your visualization, your imagination at this moment. And as these golden rose shape scrubbing bubbles are cleaning off your grounding cord all the way down to the little hairs on the roots, bring your awareness back into the heart chakra and build a golden staircase from the heart all the way up to the center of the head. Where's the center of the head? If you were to draw a line from the top of your ear to the other ear and from between your brow to the same spot in the back of your head, where those two lines meet is the center of your head. I want you to sit inside of here and command for your brow, your third eye, your sixth chakra to open like the lens of a camera. And outside of your aura, five feet away from you to the right and to the left of you, I want you to see, imagine, create rows, two roses, one to the right, one to the left, five feet away outside your aura. The rose symbolizes the transmutation of negative energy or fear into positive energy or love. And so now I want you to open your hand chakras like you would the lens of a camera. Imagine them opening. And I want you to begin to pull out any fear, any energy from the center of your head 
and move it out into these roses outside your aura. Move out anybody else's energy, any doubt, any worry. Remove it out and put it into that rose outside your aura. Okay? Feel it. You can feel it. It's very visceral. And you say, what do you see? Do you see words? Do you see people? Do you see experiences? Pull them out. Put them into that rose outside your aura layer. Just follow along. I understand this is different, but just move that energy out. And if you feel it in the crown, you can go into the crown and move that energy out from up above the crown and into that rose outside your aura layer. All right, so this is the exercise. And now I want you to bring your awareness back into the center of your head. You can continue to move that energy outside your aura, no problem. But I'm gonna gently remind you as you're breathing with the rhythm of your body and your heartbeat is synced to your breath, that you have a grounding cord of a natural earth element that is six inches in diameter connected to the Anahata, the heart chakra, as it moves throughout your body down, down into mother earth. It is six inches in diameter all the way down through the crust, through the lithosphere, through the athenosphere, as it roots itself into the core of mother earth. And these golden rose shaped scrubbing bubbles are scrubbing off any disease, any illness, any fear, any doubt, anyone else's energy as your hand chakras are moving out the same, any doubt, any fear, any worry into those roses outside your aura that are ready to transmute this negative energy into positive, creative life force energy for anyone to use. Keep moving it out. Keep moving that fear out of that brow chakra, out of the center of the head, out of the mind. As you let those golden rose-shaped cleaning Scrubbing bubbles, cleaning utensils, however you see them, clean off any of that fear, that disease, and that illness from that grounding cord, starting with that heart, moving all the way down into that solar plexus, into that sacral chakra, into that root, all the way down that grounding cord into Mother Earth, marinating, as Anita Morjani would say, with love, loving vibrations, moving out disease, fear, and illness, pulling it out the center of your head, moving it out of the heart and out of the body and out of the grounding cord, grounding you into Mother Earth, into your own energy, aligning you with your own self-love, your own creativity, your own positive manifestation. Move out the fear, move out the doubt, move out the worry, allow for those golden rose-shaped scrubbing bubbles to clean off anybody else's energy, any of the fear, any of the doubt. Double whammy, man, move it out of the heart, move it out of the lower chakras and move it out of the center of the head into those roses outside your aura. Just pull it out, don't worry about it. Just pull it out, move it out, move it out, move it out, move it out. Move it out of the body. And now, as you take a deep breath in and you connect with your heartbeat and you get back in rhythm, I want you to go ahead and bring your awareness to your grounding cord and allow for those golden rose-shaped scrubbing bubbles to fall away into the core of Mother Earth, turning into positive creative life force energy for anyone to use. Golden sun above your head, I want you to open the crown like you would the lens of a camera. Bring that golden sun down down that pipeline, you're allowing it to expand into the cranium, filling up all of that, that you moved out with this new gold light, creativity, manifestation, self-love, forgiveness, <laughs> miracles, and possibilities as it focuses and it starts to move down that spine lighting up each vertebrae as it goes down with love and joy, filling up that heart chakra on its way down. As it then begins to focus down that pipeline of the grounding cord, bringing you into the present moment, let's follow this visualization 
all the way from the heart, all the way down through the solar plexus, through the sacral, through the root chakra. As it goes down that grounding cord, you see it go down through the crust, through the lithosphere, through the athenosphere, and he goes down those roots and any excess into mother earth. Beautiful. And now we're gonna open our feet chakras like we would the lens of a camera. We're gonna call in 15% earth energy from mother earth of a color that resonates with you. Is it green for healing? Blue for calming? Is it red for action? Is it yellow for productivity? Green for love, pink for unconditional love and forgiveness. Whatever it is, bring it in. Is it all of those colors for joy and amusement? Bring up those psychedelic colors up the side channels of your legs, bringing in that joy, bringing in that laughter that Anita talks about. And then allow for that cosmic gold life force energy, generate, create, imagine, visualize this beautiful golden waves coming down through your higher self and into the crown as it once again fills up your cranium and your brain and the center of your head, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your forehead, your ears, your hair, your follicles, your teeth, your, che your cheeks, your chin, as it focuses itself down that spine, lighting up each vertebra on its way down. As it begins to hit that heart, it hits the throat, a little bit of it bifurcates, separates, goes down into those hands, as that essence moves down, 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 mixes in with the earth energy in the first chakra and begins to fill you up like water fills up a cup, pumping, 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 pooling in your feet as it moves up, moves up the ankles, moves up the calves, moves up into those knees, moves into the femur, the thighs, the hips, moving out any fear, moving out any dis-ease down that grounding cord. See it, work it out. There's stuff coming in, stuff going out, moving out, sprouting out into the aura layer, moving up your body, filling up that heart chakra, moving into the loving energy, turning all those blood cells into beautiful heart shape, moving that love throughout the entire body as it moves up, 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 sprouting out your feet, hands, and crown chakras, moving out in past lives, any pictures, any programs, any vows, any contracts, any agreement you may have made, any plane on any level to be depressed, sad, to be fearful, move it out of your body. Move it out down the grounding cord into those roses outside your aura. Allow for that stuff to melt away as that beautiful gold light mixed in with that 15% earth energy cascades throughout your body and your aura layer, moving out fear, moving out dis-ease, moving out illness, moving out drama, moving in positive life force energy, creativity, manifestation, interconnection, positive relationships, love, forgiveness, compassion. See that, see those beautiful heart shapes, blood cells move throughout your body. See that 15% earth energy and that 85% cosmic gold life force energy move throughout your body, your organs, your muscles, your ligaments, all of the systems of your body moving throughout the heart, moving throughout the stomach, the kidney, the gallbladder, the spleen, the liver, the stomach, the colon, the reproductive organs, the nervous system, the immune system, all of the lymphatic system, clean out those hormones, those chakras, clean out your throat chakra, move that negative energy into that rose outside your aura layer. Move it out, 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 move out lies, exaggeration. Move out any self-deprecating energy, move out any fear of life of speaking your truth, move it out into those roses outside your aura layer. Move it out and move that gold energy into all the spaces and the places that you're moving out this energy. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reconnect with that heart chakra. And I'm just gonna gently remind you that your heartbeat is synced up with your breath your aura layer is a foot and a half around you. Your higher self is above you. Your astral body has snapped itself in. 
You are rooted and grounded into Mother Earth from a heart-centered space with the grounding core that is of a natural earth element, six inches in diameter, clean, clear, and filled with gold light. As you run that 15% earth energy, of joy and amusement up the side channels of your legs, that 85% cosmic gold life force energy pouring in to your body as this begins to fill you up like water fills up a cup, pumping, 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 sprouting out your feet, hands, and crown chakras, filling up your aura layers as you pull out and move out the fear into that roses outside your aura layer. So it goes down into Mother Earth, removing and resolving disease, illness, bringing in love, bringing in connection, bringing in positive manifestation. Take a deep breath in, exhale. And now as this essence is working throughout all of your bodies and systems, as this loving blood is moving throughout your body, filling you up with loving vibrations, moving throughout that spine and sending it throughout your nervous system and sending those messages of love as they reverberate out into Mother Earth from your aura layer. We're gonna do one last exercise. Take a deep breath in, exhale. And I want you to now turn all the residual fear that we have not moved out of the body, those little buggers that may be hiding, command for them to turn a bright red color and stand out. And now with these hand chakras and those roses outside your aura, you're going to pull that residual fear out of your body, mind, and your spirit. Wherever you feel it, don't make sure you get that spine and get that back. Get those knees, get those areas of the body that feel pain, that feel disease, that feel illness. Move out anybody else's energy as this essence moves throughout your body. Take a deep breath in, exhale. And now it's time for us to move those roses that are outside our aura, five feet away from us, to the right and to the left. We're gonna give them an energetic push 10 feet away. We're gonna blow them up, put energetic dynamite underneath them or however you blow things up in your mind, create, generate, or imagine. And this blowing up is a positive celebration, like fireworks. You're gonna blow up this rose and turn it into positive creative life force energy for anyone to use. We're gonna close our feet chakras and stop running energy. We're gonna close our hand chakras and we're going to close our crown and allow for that 85% cosmic gold to stop running. And remember our higher self is sitting at a comfortable distance above our head. Our aura layer remains a foot and a half around us, 18 inches to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back, top to bottom, sitting in it. Our astral body is snapped in and we remain grounded and rooted into mother earth from a heart centered space as these loving blood cells and vibrations continue to course throughout our body and our aura layer, sending love out into our environment and into the universe at large. Take a deep breath in. And one little thing I'd like to do is I'd like for you guys to, that ladder that we created from the hearts to the center of the head, I'd like you to make sure it has resolved and dissolved itself as you bring your awareness back into the heart. Take another deep breath in, exhale, and you can open your eyes. Back. <laughs> You're back. <laughs>
Oh dear. You know, I, I, I just love that so much. It's like when I'm going, I just don't want it to end. I just want to keep going. It's just like, I just have this beautiful, relaxed feeling, but this buzzing sensation that goes on here. It's, uh, I, I said a while ago that I kind of first time I ever felt that I thought, wow, what's that? A brain tumor. But you kind of, <laughs> <laughs> after a while it actually is a really beautiful feeling and it's just buzzing it's like around that third eye kind of area and it's uh, i love it but you know it's just so relaxing and that was fantastic thank you joe lay thank you for the honor i'm so grateful to do this and um i just want everyone to know that the basics of really putting your soul architecture together or that ground is that grounding cord and we'll work more with the fear because I really didn't go into the first chakra, which is where fear sits. But the grounding cord was helping us move that energy throughout the body. Nevertheless, we will get to that. But yeah. I really am grateful to be able to do this. And thank you. Well, I'm very grateful for you doing it. I feel pretty fearless now. So we're OK. I think you got there. <laughs> I felt it moving out. I pulled it. I dragged it. Yeah. Yes, so it go. Drag, it. drag it out. Yeah, yeah. We should uh, always drag fear, you know? Yes, <laughs> and screaming. But yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, just also to uh, point out to the community that should anybody wish to have a consultation with Joe Lay, she is available through our readers and healers, and she is amazing, amazing at what she does. I mean, these beautiful free meditations are fantastic. But if you want something very individualized, which, you know, a, a lot of people can can benefit from that, honestly, you, you know, it's it's a very, very worthwhile venture. And you can get us through the website, elevatedplanet.life contact page, or you can contact me, John Drew at elevatedplanet.life. And uh, we I will be your concierge service to make sure that uh, we connect you up with Joe Lay. Thank you all. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we look forward to be back uh, with you next week, but also uh, the weekly comes out tomorrow with the edited easy on the eye version of this particular live video. And so you can watch it all over again. Ah, dream come true. Thank you, Jolay. Thank, Thank you, you all. John.